97% of publishing scientists agree not only is climate change happening, humans are to blame. But try getting 97% of people to agree on anything, much less how we're supposed to go about saving the planet or how long we have to do it. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn takes us on one of our most important 360s yet. What to do with our blue world. Storms get stronger and more destructive. Watch the water splash off the city. This is global warming. From movie theaters. We're not going to recognize it. We don't want to discuss it. To politicians on both sides of the aisle. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. Yeah, I don't believe it. Climate change consistently stirs heated emotional debate. But while the vast majority of scientists agree it's happening, there is still a lot of controversy surrounding what to do about it. And it's that issue we're taking 360. Starting with Scott Denning at Colorado State University, one of the leading atmospheric scientists in the world. The uh, rate of heat loss from the Earth um, has been slowed down by the extra CO2. Huh. And so the earth warms up. I mean, yeah. it's, it's really amazingly simple. How much are we talking about? Not that much, to be, to be frank. Denning says the earth has warmed only two degrees since the Industrial Revolution. But the problem is a skyrocketing number of countries moving toward industrialization, where populations are already in the billions and economies are starting to boom. We expect the number of people like us, the rich people, the people that burn a lot of coal, to quadruple China and then India and then Africa. And if they all start burning even half the coal, oil, and gas that we're burning, holy mackerel, that's a lot of CO2. And that brings us to Greg Brophy, a Colorado farmer, former Republican senator, and leading conservative voice on global warming. You'd be foolish to not think that human beings could have at least some impact on the climate, as many of us as there are. The question for Brophy is, how do you stop it? Or at the very least, how do you slow down global warming? He sees the Green New Deal and the idea of eliminating all carbon emissions as a pipe dream. And you want me to take you seriously? Why don't you start advocating for some things that will actually work, like building nuclear power plants, which have zero carbon footprint. Brophy also suggests more reservoirs for combating drought in Colorado and providing hydroelectric power. That's actually the best and most effective battery storage for wind or solar that you can come up with. What's the best way to mitigate against a drought? more reservoirs. There are other scientists out there as well. Catherine Hayhoe is not only the director of the Climate Center at Texas Tech, she's also an evangelist who brings climate change and faith together. And in the atmosphere, we already have this amazing natural blanket that God has designed for our planet that keeps us almost 60 degrees warmer than we would be otherwise. We're overheating. That's what we're doing to our planet. Denning says the solution is simple. Somehow the world has to make room for raising the standard of living of billions and billions of people who are currently dirt poor without setting stuff on fire. It just takes the political will to do it. We didn't go broke putting in indoor plumbing. We didn't go broke with interstate highways or the internet or cell phones or PCs, and we're not gonna go broke with this. It's totally doable. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.